Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. Is that your Vlogmas dance? No. No? What's your Vlogmas dance? It's Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. <laughs> So, I don't know if you all can see, but my hair is, ooh, this hair is dirty. My hair is a tangled mess right up in through here. I'm about to use the main choice, uh, Easy on the Curls Detangling Hydration, hydration Conditioner um, to get these tangles out. I'm kind of sad though, because like literally this is my last little drop almost. So, I need to re-up after this. Um, but my hair, my hair wasn't too dirty. My scalp, um, didn't feel too fresh though before, before I washed it. Um, Y'all, it took me entirely too long to detangle my hair with the conditioner. Not because the conditioner was bad, but because my hair was like tangled. I don't know. I'm about to use the um, main choice again, the deep, uh, deep strengthening restorative, deep strengthening and restorative max treatment. Um, <laughs> what was that? Um, I love this stuff. This is my second bottle. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna leave this on for like 30 minutes. I just left my deep conditioner in. Like nobody has time to actually style in the middle of the day. So threw on my uh, head wrap which I love from the rap life and it's gonna hold me down even though walking outside with wet hair probably wasn't the best idea but yeah we'll see how this goes at least it's the weekend in case I get sick but then again I don't have a job so I don't understand why I bring up the fact that you know if I get sick it doesn't really matter right right <laughs> also, I also have this young fellow with me He's doing no shave November except it's the <laughs> <laughs> Now it's called just lazy. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today. I'm pretty basic as always, um, but I have my head wrap on from the Wrap Life. Uh, underneath, I have on this sweater that I got from Topshop, I believe, last year. It's very warm, very cozy. Um, my jeans are uh, Topshop Joni jeans. They used to be black, but they're not anymore. <laughs> My Tim's, the same as yesterday, and then this coat, which I really, really, really love, which is from Zara. Here, you have to tell everybody what you're wearing. I am wearing wide pants, twinkle toe shoes that light up. So one more time. <laughs> oh. Oh. And you can turn them off and on by this button. Cool. What else and do you have on? I'm wearing this pink jacket with a locket necklace. You mean the pink shirt? With a pink shirt with a locket necklace. And then my Hello Kitty watch and a band that says, A kindness starts with you and it's cool to be kind. Oh, cool. I like your outfit. Thank you. You're welcome. And she has it in some type of protective style. Well, <laughs> her hair was straightened for like half the month of November and I couldn't take the blending of two textures. It needs to be washed. But, so I just threw it in a protective style using uh, my little organic and I can't remember what else. <sighs> so, as I previously stated, I hate cold weather. Like, I feel extra cold. My hands are cold. Leo, let's go. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, my body's cold. My life is cold. But luckily, we're walking to Starbucks. I can't wait to get my chai tea latte. Oh. All right. I'm going to put my hands in my pocket until we get to our destination. Walking party and girls looking at me. Skinny jeans on and you know I had no bed. Won't you try this stage for me? Choo-choo on that beat. Choo-choo on that beat. Juju on that, juju on that, juju on that beat. Now slide, drop, hit the folks don't stop, eh, don't stop, eh, don't stop. Run around on that beat, run around on that beat, run around on that, run around on that, run around on that beat. Do that dance, do that dance, do that dance, eh. You ugly, you your daddy's son, eh, eh. Go crazy, yeah, get free, yeah, let's go. 
So I'm a big, like I don't like the smell of smoke. What? Yeah, you're, <laughs> I wasn't like that oh, earlier. I was. <laughs> Teeth's all you need to see. Look, look, if I don't have a, if, if I don't get a job soon, this is where I'll be living inside the giant. <laughs> Maybe somebody will take me home with them and feed me and clothe me and bathe me. <laughs> Your groceries are in, are are ready. Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, for pickup. I get it. I get uh -huh. it. <laughs> Clearly, I don't come to Giant often, but I don't know what the heck a Giant pickup is about. I know. I gotta pull my Christmas stuff out. I actually think I'm gonna decorate this year. So last year I did not decorate because I didn't feel the need to. But then, oh actually I take that back. I wasn't gonna decorate and then I think two days before Christmas started I pulled out my wreath and I put the wreath on the door. But I don't think I ever actually put up a Christmas tree. Did I put up a Christmas tree last year? I don't think I did. I think I just went to my parents' house and put that up. I was a Grinch last year. But now this year, my parents are supposedly going to Atlanta before Christmas, and I'm not going to Atlanta. Wait, they're going to Atlanta? So, I don't know where Christmas is going to be this year. Wait, they're going to Atlanta before Christmas? Yeah, I think so. I know, it's a little depressing, but. We're going to Georgia for Christmas. So, we'll figure it out. What'd you say? What'd you say, boo you? <laughs> she just called my parents whores. No, I did not. <laughs> I think she did. Anybody out there have their Christmas tree up yet? Um, I don't own a home of my own. I mean, I don't own a home of my own, so I have nowhere to put up a Christmas tree. But for you guys that are out there, um, I want to see what your trees look like. Post them on Instagram. That sounds like I want to see somebody's privates. But yeah, post your trees on Instagram. I need some holiday decor inspiration for uh, for when I for the time. Um, for when the time comes for me to move on my own. Yes. Oh, I want to take a picture of their tree. They probably won't let me. Can you go in there and ask her? No, I don't want to scare her. I'm black. Mm -hmm. well, Andre and I always talk about how we hinder each other from dating and stuff because we're always like we're we're always together and so we go out and um I know I've seen like guys look at me, but I'm never interested in them because they're always like the, you know, the ones that holler at you from the street. So I'm glad he's with me, but um, I don't know if I'm deterring anybody from coming up and approaching him and saying, you know, excuse me, good looking. Can I have your number? Can I have? Um, hey, some women are bold. How do you guys approach uh, people that you find attractive? I want to know. Because I still, I mean, I've never been in a position to have to do that because the guys that I've been attracted to usually approach me. Not always. Um, but yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Chloe, stop. Um, no, I didn't mean it like that. But I'm saying when I find somebody attractive and I give off the vibes that I find them attractive, um, sometimes it works and goes in my favor. Stop, Chloe. Stop. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to approach guys. I guess that's where I lack I lack confidence in a few areas and that's one of them um is approaching guys and saying hey you want to go on a date or hey can I have your number but I heard you're not supposed to do that I need thought I need opinions thoughts like how do you approach somebody or slide into somebody's DM and, DMs and say hey I think you're cute how those are good I think I don't know I stopped eating after I had that first those first two red ones I was like this is bro <laughs> What does that face? Oh my god. <laughs> what does it taste like? <laughs> Look at my 
face this is what stress does to you like this right here I always had clear skin for the most part you know except for like when I was PMSing and eating improper things and now this it just seems like it's just here to stay and this has been a really stressful year and I think this started earlier in the year and it's resumed now and so now I have like all of this going on which is why um if you watched my vlogmas from yesterday which you should have already if you haven't there's still time um it's not going anywhere um but which is why i watch my face with honey now uh because it's great for removing toxins it's a great um organic natural um the anti-inflammatory yes there we go i got it right this time um and so yeah i love watching my face with honey it minimizes my breakouts and honestly i feel like it uh makes them go away almost overnight if not within like two to three days and it keeps my face hydrated um only problem is that i think my diet is screwing up my face my diet and my stress level so yesterday i got rejected from three jobs mm -hmm. And I know I just can't. I can't win. I've been trying to win. I can win. I just haven't won yet. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I can win. I just haven't won yet. Haven't won yet. Um, last night when I was editing, I started editing around eleven thirty. Yeah. And I didn't finish until. I mean, I didn't go to bed until almost seven a.m. Mm -hmm. And then, but, but the crazy thing was, it, I wasn't. It wasn't like I was tired. I wasn't like I got annoyed, but I wasn't like yeah. frustrated and like f this and yeah. wanted to throw in the towel. And I was like, oh, I'm actually truly happy editing videos. Yeah. And I'm just trying to put all the pieces together and figure out what it is and I meant to, meant to do and mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe I'm applying to all the wrong jobs because. They're not meant for me. And Maybe. Have you looked at digital editing or? Well, every or time like... I look, it's always included in like a job. Like it's always included in like public relations or marketing. Mm -hmm. And those are the jobs where it's like degree required. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Like everything requires a degree. And honestly, I don't know. I wish jobs, I mean, I wish a lot of companies, not companies, but I wish people would realize that you don't have to go to school yeah. in order to be in order to be talented in specific areas but mm -hmm. i mean of course i i know that they they want to see that you can finish something and yeah yeah and so i definitely understand that i mean i definitely still i definitely want to finish school mm -hmm. but it's like i don't know That guy back there just scared the crap out of me. Like I just went into full blown, blown panic mode because um, so his left eye is barely opening um, and it's super super red. But when he laid down in front of me, he like he he showed no interest in me when I called his name. 
when I was trying to talk to him, like no interest whatsoever, which is really rare. Um, he'll normally at least perk his ears up or lift his head up to see what's going on. But this time he didn't. And so I kept like calling his name and calling his name. And finally he set his head up and his left eye wouldn't open. And he came and he like laid right next to me, which is, he usually walks around for a bit and then lays down. But he came right next to me and like laid down. And I just like burst out into tears, like full blown panic mode, panic attack. Like, <sighs> I think I'm, I don't know. You probably can say to me, you probably can't say to my face. Cause I gave myself a moment to calm down. Um, but I got so worried for like a good 30 seconds. I was just like crying and controllably and calling his name. And he's probably like, what is wrong with this chick? Um, so I called my cousin. My cousin's out right now at dinner. Um, I called him and he said that he might have a scratched cornea. So of course I go to Google and I'm like, you know, dogs, a dog scratched cornea and it brought up pictures and um, I think it might, he might have a scratched cornea, but I got so scared you guys. Like that guy is, anno is as annoying as he may be by eating or trying to eat everything and trying to assert his dominance and this, that, and the other. Like, I love that little guy. And if anything happened to him, especially like on my watch, like right running, right now in here, I'd probably be like traumatized. I was traumatized because I literally thought he was dying and his his eye just seems to be bothering him. You say hi, Leo? Hey, I don't know if you guys can see, but this eye, he has small eyes anyway, um, but come back, come back, come back. Sit down, sit. Good boy. He has small eyes anyway, but this one you see he's struggling to keep it open. Um, and then it, when I offered him a treat just a few minutes ago, he didn't budge. And normally he's basically doing backflips, but he didn't budge. And finally he got up. My little guy is struggling. Crazy, because he's not even my dog, but he's my cousin's dog. So he's like my cousin dog, my dog cousin, something like that. Um, but yeah, so this is how, how we are ending vlogging this day two. Um, if I have any other footage after this, I'll add it. But for now, I think I'm just going to relax and edit and watch TV. And yeah, so um, if you like this or if you have any suggestions on other videos that I can do besides like outside of Vlogmas, let me know in the comments down below because I'm trying to become more active. Um, again, I have a content calendar that I'm building, but I want to see what you guys are interested in if there's anybody out there that's watching me. Um, if it's only like three of y'all, shout out to y'all. Give me comments, suggestions, you know, anything. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody has a great Friday evening and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. And say good night. Say good night. Oh, my poor baby. You want to say good night? Say good night. Oh, Leo, you're not allowed to scare me like that. Did you know that? Excuse me, I'm talking to you. I hope you're okay, though. I hope you're okay. You're going to be okay, buddy. Say, of course I am. Of course I am. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Do you join that beat? Do you join that beat? <laughs>